All right, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Virginia Association for Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual Transfer College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that's happening this evening, so be sure to sign up for additional ones at the same place where you registered for this one. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week's time at strivescan.com backslash Virginia. I'd now like to get it started by turning it over to our presenters, and we'll start off this evening with Florida Southern College. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. We are so excited. Well, good evening, everyone. We're so excited you're here to learn a little bit more about our colleges tonight. Uh, excited to be our first presenter of this evening. Uh, my name is Joe Madigan. I serve as the Director of Recruitment Outreach at Florida Southern College. A little bit about Florida Southern College just to start. Florida Southern College is in Lakeland, Florida. We are halfway in between Orlando and Tampa. I always like to mention we are 30 minutes west of the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, and then we are about 30 minutes east of some of the best beaches in America, St. Pete and Clearwater Beach and downtown Tampa. Florida Southern College is home to approximately 3,000 total students uh, with about 60% of our students coming from the state of Florida, 40% of our students coming from out of state, and anywhere between 15 and 20% of our student body each year being transfer students like here tonight that's joining us. I get the pleasure of working with our students that are interested in STEM programs at Florida Southern, but we have a wide range of options and we're recognized for the opportunities for our transfer students as a whole, so much so that we were just recently once again ranked among the top 150 most transfer friendly schools in America by Phi Theta Kappa. We're proud of that fact and it's because of the fact we are here to work with you as a student in any of our over 70 different academic majors of study, including some of the most popular programs for our transfer students, such as our exercise science, sports medicine, linking into our doctorate of physical therapy program, our psychology, music education, our business program actually just got ranked number one in the country for teaching by poets and quants, or maybe it's your student that's interested in going off to graduate health professional schools in medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, even having a direct admit program into Lake Erie College of Medicine right here in the state of Florida. We've accelerated options for business, accounting, psychology, just to name a few of our programs and opportunities. And no matter what major you choose at Florida Southern, you again are going to be the focus as a transfer student. Our average class size here is 18 students. Over 60% of our classes have less than 20 students. And we have no large lecture halls. 100% of our classes are taught by full-time faculty members. As a transfer student, we want to reward the work that you've done as well. You can bring in up to 62 transferable college credits from a community college and up to 93 credits overall between a university and a community or state college. As long as you've gotten a grade of C or better, you're going to have that credit count at Florida Southern College. And that gives you a great starting point for the experience of a Florida Southern education, which includes a guaranteed internship. No matter the major that you choose, we want to give you that hands-on experience. You learn by doing here at Florida Southern. And over 60% of our students actually get paid job opportunities post their internship. And those salaries that those students are getting is generally about $10,000 higher than the national average. This includes students like Abby Farrow pictured here, who worked on a rhino reserve in South Africa as part of our pre-veterinary medicine program, or students like Joey Ortega pictured Resort is one of our business management majors post-graduation now as a customer service representative. Overall, we are focused on getting you to your goals and next steps, and that means outcomes. As our outcome right here at Florida Southern College, getting students into graduate school or a job or into maybe professional service or the military, whatever it may be you want to do, it's 97% at Florida Southern College. Whether that be you come in with a large number of credits and you want to go to med school, like the incredible Annabelle Rosenthal at the top there, or maybe you have a passion for theater and you want to go on American Idol, like one of our current students, transfer student, in fact, at Florida Southern, Zachary D'Onofrio. We are cheering him on in the 
his current season of American Idol is one of our transfer students at Florida Southern. We guarantee housing for all of our students at Florida Southern. We have 16 different residential options, including apartments for students. So know you're gonna have a home here. If students are coming from more than 30 miles away, we do require residency at Florida Southern, but that's okay. There's so much to get engaged and involved in here with over a hundred different clubs, organizations, activities. Study abroad is also a guaranteed opportunity. Maybe you wanna study photography and film at Skellig Michael where The Last Jedi was filmed. Or maybe you wanna get involved in our sports here. We have incredible athletics, NCAA Division II programs across our 30 varsity sports at Florida Southern. We have club programs as well. Esports, one of the ones most recognizable here. I want to take the last minute and a half I have to talk about our admissions and application process. It is free for you as a transfer student to apply to Florida Southern College. Our deadlines and timeframes are listed here. You'll want to apply for Florida Southern College for the fall semester each year by no later than June 1st. After that, we go on a space available basis. You can apply through the common application, the coalition application, or our own online application. It's very simple and easy. When we review for our students for admission, all we need from you is your college transcripts. We do not need SAT or ACT test scores. We are test optional at Florida Southern. If you've earned less than 24 college credits, we'll want your high school transcripts. If you've earned more than 24 college credits, including any of those AP, IV, dual enrollment, ACE classes you've taken, CLEP credit, we don't need the high school transcript any longer. We get a decision out to a student within two to four weeks of submitting your application and all of your transcripts. You'll also receive a credit evaluation, letting you know course for course how everything counts. Every student is automatically considered for scholarships and financial aid at Florida Southern. Our merit scholarships this year range anywhere between $7,000 and $21,000 per year. Stacking on top of that is our Phi Theta Kappa scholarships any federal or state-based aid, and Florida Southern College is consistently rated as a best value school, especially for our transfer students, as you can receive almost $35,000 on average, and that's just a normal average for a student. We include our talent scholarships as part of that as well, music, theater, doing auditions, and fine arts, film, you have lots of opportunities. In my last couple of minutes here, last couple of seconds, I just want to reference, we are open for tours. We would love to welcome you to the Florida Southern College campus. Come on down to us in the sunshine, especially if you're on spring break. You get a tour of the campus led by our Southern ambassadors at Florida Southern College. You can also take a virtual tour. Check out the virtual options at schools and what they have to offer. Check out our website, flsouthern.edu backslash visit or text the number on the screen there today. and You'll actually get information about how to schedule either a virtual or an in-person. That's enough from me from Florida Southern College. I'll turn it over to our next presenter tonight. What a great opportunity to learn about so many great institutions. And I like to finish every presentation with, have a great night and go Mox. Great, thank you so much. And our next presentation this evening comes to us from North Carolina A&T State University. Good evening, my name is Chanel Quick and I bring you greetings from North Carolina a and State University. We were founded in 1891 as a land grant university and we're also a STEM focused institution as well as a doctoral research institution. And in 2019, we received a record 64.37 million in research funding. Money Magazine has also ranked us as one of the most affordable campuses. We are the largest HBCU with over 12,750 plus students and we are located in Greensboro, North Carolina. For our academic areas, some of our top majors for transfer students. So of course we have 54 majors. So here tonight, I'm just highlighting a few. Um, and those are kinesiology, management, criminal justice, nursing, with a concentration in our R and BSN completion program, geomatics, mechanical engineering, psychology, social work, biology, and information technology. Our average class size is 28, and our student to faculty ratio is 19 to one, and our female to male ratio is one to one. We do have academic support resources on our campus. 
Our Center for Academic Excellence is our student support hub, which assists students with tutoring and also academic advising. We also have study abroad options as well, where our students have the ability to study over with over 200 plus countries to choose from. And our institution takes on the financial obligation for our students who choose to study abroad. We also offer career services. Each student that comes to A&T receives a handshake recruitment tool. And we also have preparation services as well, where our career services office provides trainings and also career fairs for our students. With our student life, we do have athletics. We're currently a part of the Division I MEAC tournament, but next year we'll be moving on to the Big South. And we do have 17 athletic teams. We also have over 140 plus organizations on our campus as well. And we have 16 residence halls. In new incoming students are guaranteed housing on our campus. Also, if you are interested in coming, our application deadlines for the fall, if you want to be considered for scholarships, is May 15th. Our regular decision deadline is July 15th. Um, and just a few of our rankings, we are third in research funding within the UNC system, and we are ranked as the number one public HBCU in the nation. So we hope that you will consider a and as an option when it comes to transfer. Please don't hesitate to contact the admissions office and our email address is uadmit at ncat.edu. You can also connect with us via Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And we are also doing virtual campus tours as well as on-campus tours that you can register for on our website as well. Thank you so much. Great, thank you so much. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Franklin and Marshall College. Hi everyone, um, it is wonderful to be here with you this evening. Um, so I am from Franklin and Marshall College. We are moving a little bit north right now. We are a small liberal arts college in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. My name is Emily Herbert and I am the coordinator of transfer admission. So I am excited to be the one that has the opportunity to work with you. Uh, we are uh, for Pennsylvania about an hour and 15 minutes west from Philadelphia, about hour and a half from Baltimore. Um, and then about two, two and a half hours from the DC area. As a brief overview of who you will find in our community, where they are coming from, we do have students coming from all over the country and all over the world. We love that uh, about 17% of our student body are students that are coming from the 51 countries. So it's a very diverse population. Uh, one thing that I really do appreciate with our student body is that as a liberal arts college, students are coming to us with an open mind, looking to collaborate with their peers and their faculty. And a big part of that is that our students cannot formally declare their major until the end of the sophomore year. But we'll go ahead and dive into this all. So just as a brief overview, I would say the big things to know about FNM is that there's a strong focus on the academics in a way that we want every student to be able to personalize their experience. You're going to learn and grow and change. And so FNM is a school that is going to do that with you. We then offer a blended living learning community, which is wonderful to help with the transition into a new school as a transfer student and also help you to connect with other resources on campus. And then our location is a huge part of the experience. And we'll talk about Lancaster just in a moment. So for the academic opportunities, there are 62 different fields of study between the majors, the minors. We do have a create your own major as well. So you're never going to be limited to just one or two programs. Uh, the probably the most fun thing though, is that you can't declare that major. Um, as a liberal arts school, everything is interdisciplinary. So it's that idea that we can connect the dots we can learn together uh, when we collaborate, gain that deeper understanding. And so having the declared um, or the delayed declaration means that you will have the opportunity to explore, get that well-rounded foundation. One of the very first classes that all of our students take is a first year writing seminar. It's capped at 16 students and the professor of that class 
will serve as your advisor for the first two years until you move into departmental advising. So you have a lot of support for our transfers coming in. Typically that first one is waived, but all of our students do a second one that is research-based. Usually our transfer students dive right into that class and still have the opportunity to work with an advisor and then transition into the departmental advising. So it's a nice way to kind of blend our transfers into the larger academic community. And finally, research is a huge part of our experience. We're only undergrads, so that means all of the resources uh, are there for you. Over two thirds of our students will engage in research and it's probably the best way to kind of customize that academic experience. Uh, so I've talked about the living learning community. This might sound a little bit like Harry Potter, but we have five college houses at FNM. All of our students, including our transfers, are members of one of those five college houses. What's wonderful is that we put all of our transfers together in one college house, so you come in as a cohort. The houses all have what is called a dean, and that's a student support person um, whose office is actually in your uh, the residential hall where you will live the first year that you come to FNM. And so then you have um, someone that's looking out for you that's bringing those transfers together. So it really does foster a nice community every year uh, as our students are learning about FNM as well. Uh, but typically the connections courses I've talked about are taught in these first year um, and second year residential halls. And for students that may be coming in at junior status, we have FNM approved off campus housing that's basically across the street from here. Um, and every student is still connected to their house with academic and social programming. There's never a dull moment as well at FNM. You can see right in the middle, Benjamin Franklin and John Marshall, a lot of school spirit for us, but those are our founders and um, certainly maybe not scary or intimidating, but um, a lot of spirit, like I said. Uh, we are primarily a division three school with 27 varsity athletic teams. And then that does include D1 wrestling and non-divisional squash. About a third of students are involved with athletics between um, the varsity club and intramural sports. And then over 110 different clubs and organizations each year. I um, always find that our students are involved with about three to five different clubs and it's easy to start something new. I was just speaking with a senior transfer who had just joined our ultimate Frisbee team. So it's never too late to pick up a new hobby um, and being in a community where that's the norm, I think it also helps with the transition to just kind of dive right in. So this is campus from um, up above and I show you just to get a sense that is a small college, but we're open. So we are right in the city of Lancaster. Um, at the top left, we back up to a public park and there's a dog park there, which is all um, of the students' favorite space to go to. But then about a 10 or 15 minute walk from campus is downtown Lancaster. Uh, the city has over 60,000 people, so there's a ton going on. Forbes rated Lancaster as one of the top 10 coolest cities to visit and then one of the top 10, 14 cities to visit in the country. So there's a lot going on. We have one of the largest uh, refugee populations per capita. So a lot of diversity and culture that's built into the different stores and restaurants. Students are going downtown on a regular basis. And so in addition to kind of the fun and the shopping, there are also a lot of opportunities for internships and jobs um, and service work. So never discount the location that you are in. Uh, then outcomes, how our students are being supported. We don't have career services. We have what is called the Office of Student and Postgraduate Development. Uh, the little bit of green you can see is right in the center of campus. So you can never forget about OSPA guys. Um, and really their philosophy is that we need to be preparing students for life and not just work because a lot happens after your um, time at your school. You can see we have a great engagement rate. Students from all class years are engaging. So whenever you do come in, it's going to be the norm to hop over from the quad and to go to Aspagod for support. They do a lot more than um, resume development. So they have different leadership programs, um, senior boot camps, the etiquette dinner where you learn how to interview over a formal dinner. So very unique offerings. FNM meets 100% of demonstrated need for our transfers. Um, and a breakdown of the application process is here and available on our website, but we do enroll students for the fall and the spring semesters. So thank you very much. Great. Thank you so much, Emily. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from the University of Manchester.
Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for joining this session and to learn more about the University of Manchester in the UK. The University of Manchester is Britain's largest single site university, and it was established in 1824. We have a very proud history of innovation and world's firsts. The university can claim 25 Nobel Prize winners amongst former staff and students, and is where the atom was first split, the world's first stored program computer invented, and where graphene was discovered. As a university, the University of Manchester has a unique vision. We are unique in British higher education in having social responsibility as one of our three core strategic goals, sitting equally alongside our commitments to research and teaching and learning as well. As the top UK university for two years running for our social and environmental impact, our social responsibility activities capture our unique Manchester spirit, motivating communities to research, teach and share their ideas and students to study with us. In terms of rankings, the University of Manchester is ranked 27 in the world, and we have an outstanding reputation for research and also being the first choice for graduate employers in the UK. We have the widest range of undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs in the UK, and we are also most targeted by our by UK's top 100 graduate employers. We offer over 350 undergraduate degrees across three faculties. We have double and triple major degrees in our, so in our School of Humanities, School of Social Sciences, School of Science and Engineering, as well as School of Biology, Medicine and Health. Some of our more popular subjects include law, which in the UK you can study from undergraduate level, medicine, which as well you can study from undergraduate level, politics and international relations, archaeology and anthropology, as well as computer science and psychology. The University of Manchester is home to over 40,000 students from over 160 nationalities. We are proud to welcome over 10,000 international students on our campus, making us one of the most international universities in the UK. At Manchester, you literally have the world in one place. The university and the city are one of the most affordable locations for students considering pursuing a degree in the UK. For the University of Manchester specifically, the living costs and tuition together range from approximately $40,000 a year to $48,000 a year, excluding our School of Medicine, which works just a little bit different. When it comes to your career, we offer amazing options whilst you're at university and also once you graduate. In most of our degrees, you have the option to integrate a year abroad or what we call a year in industry or sandwich year, where you can take part in a graduate level internship that is relevant to your degree for a full year. You can also take part in summer internships, volunteering and outreach programs, and maybe even have a part-time job whilst you're at university. Manchester is there to support you throughout your journey, whether it's one-to-one -one interview simulations, CV clinics to help you tailor your resume for a job in the UK, or just to provide you with a list of available internship opportunities. Our career service is always ready to help. With the team organizing job fairs throughout the year, some even tailored to your own academic department. The university is located in the second largest city in the UK. Manchester is a vibrant international student city, and it's also the city of firsts. We were the birthplace of vegetarianism, the Industrial Revolution, and feminism. Students joining Manchester will have access to the largest students' union in the UK, with over 400 clubs and societies to join and activities to participate in. There are no prerequisites for joining any of our activities, whether you're interested in swimming, archery, or if you're looking for something like the Model United Nations Society. You have a campus experience while being in the city center of Manchester. At the university, we guarantee accommodation to all our international students. And the great news is all of our accommodation is single occupancy. What that means for you is that you always get your own bedroom, which you do not have to share. All you have to decide on is whether you'd like a meal plan or not. 
I hope everybody's ready to begin their Manchester experience and become part of our amazing community of over half a million alumni from over 190 countries, changing the world for the better. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you're more than welcome to do that through my email address on your screen. You can take a screenshot of that, or you can connect with me through our social media or through some of our webinars and online events that we're offering at Manchester. Thank you very much. Great, thank you very much. And our next presentation this evening comes to us from Emory and Henry College. And I'm coming, Owen. <laughs> okay. Can y'all see me now? Yes, we can hear you and see your video, but your screen share has not started yet. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble sharing that screen. Um, well, I will just go ahead since I can't get it shared and go ahead and talk to you about um, Emory and Henry College. Uh, we are located, we're a small liberal arts school located in Southwest Virginia. We're on the I-81 corridor and along that corridor, we have five sites. We have a school of, self of health sciences. We have our main campus, which is at Emory, Virginia. We also have, offer classes at the Southwest Virginia Higher Ed Center. And we also have our site at Bartlow Field Station where we do a lot of environmental and weather studying. And then we have our Intermont Equestrian Center. And we're also, I was going to point out the Appalachian Trail because I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about that next. Uh, we do, we are a college, Emory and Henry College, but we function quite well as a university because of all the schools, the, the, the different schools we have. The first one being is our School of Health Sciences, which is located in Marion, Virginia. And this houses programs of physical therapy, physician assistant, occupational therapy, um, um, physician assistant, and we have just started with our um, offering of mental health counseling. We also have an RN to be in nursing program and are planning to have a full out nursing program in the fall. Again, I talked about our equine center. We have, um, we've had many national championships. This started out from Virginia Intermont and when Virginia Intermont merged with us, we, be, we took over their program. We also have um, a very large theater department that is in partnership with the State Theater of Virginia, the Barter Theater. So we have um, students who have internships and workshops with the theaters in Abingdon. We also, when I was talking about the Appalachian Trail, we're the only school that offers credit for traveling the Appalachian Trail. So you can take a semester of trail and get credit for it. Uh, there's lots of variations of that program where you could do it all at once or you can do it as an outside student, as a special student who applies to come in and join the program from another institution. We also within this program have a uh, through hike in the country, an outdoor program adventure team and um, climbing walls. Again, we have another program in education, a very strong education program where most all of our teachers are employed before they graduate. In addition to the regular certification, we have a fast track program and a mass, fifth year master's program where if you've taken any classes that can be taught in high school, then you can come back in one year and get certified to teach and as long and as well as a master's degree. And this, and we have just started this fall, we started um, a BS in engineering science, which 
gets you the, the prereqs that you need for engineering so that you can go on to engineering school. And then we have in the fall as well, we're starting up a new school of business with a lot broader offerings of what we have now. So opening um, in the fall. And this is the part I usually don't get to. So I'm gonna to talk to you about our requirements. We, all we need is your official college transcripts. We have um, eliminated the essay and the test scores. Early action is application, is November 15th and January 15th. So you'll need, the best thing you can do besides file your application is file your FAFSA so that we'll be ready to give you a bottom line cost once we um, have that and can send it to financial aid. There are also auditions for certain scholarships. Um, you will receive your financial aid award and then the next thing to do is submit your deposit, and then attend one of three pre-registration -registra dates. So by the summer before you start, you should be, your classes are all ready to go in the summer. These, we have three types of financial aid. There's talent-based, merit-based, and need-based. And the um, academic, we offer academic merit scholarships. As soon as you're admitted, we'll assign a, a scholarship to you based on your transcripts. Then there are also performance scholarships um, and you can apply for those. Those would be like um, the band. Um, we have art scholarships and those are in addition to the other scholarships that you give. And then after we found all the free money and grants, then the next kind of financial aid or will be student loans and work study that you could apply for. And the performance scholarships are art and equestrian writing, healthcare pre-professional, the honors programs, music and STEM cohort. We also have affinity scholarships in cheer and dance, color guard, marching band, outdoor activity, rugby and theater. Again, here's a breakdown of our costs. We do have 100% um, of student first year students and transfer students receive some type of financial aid. And that usually leaves the out-of-pocket, basic out-of-pocket for attendance is 20,000 with room and board. And to get in touch with us, you can contact me, Mary Bolt, at the Office of Admissions at Emory & Henry College. It's mbolt at ehc.edu. Thank you. Great, thank you, Mary. Our final presentation this evening comes to us from Hollins University. Good evening, everyone. I am Tristan Kitts. I'm a senior assistant director of admission here at Hollins, and I work directly with our transfer students. So a little information about Hollins. Um, we are an all women's institution undergraduate and our actual graduate population is co-ed. Um, but what's nice is that we're situated in Southern Virginia. So super close to Richmond, short train ride to Washington DC and then also Greensboro and Charlotte too. So we're in a really great location um, close to downtown Roanoke as well. We were founded in 1842. Um, and what's nice is that because we are such a small institution and a small liberal arts institution, our average class size is only 11 students. Our student to faculty ratio is nine to one. So we really encourage classroom engagement. We want you to get to know your professors and also your classmates too. So we want you to be a part of that Hollins community. We offer 29 different majors and multiple minors and concentrations with our top majors being English, biology, business, psychology, and studio art. So there's a good mixture and variety in terms of what we offer. We are division three athletics, a part of the ODAC um, conference. And we even have anything from swimming, tennis, basketball, all the way up to our equestrian team, which is really popular with our student body. In terms of our community, we have 34% students who identify of color and or Hispanic Latinx communities. We also have students coming from 44 different states across the country and 20 different countries as well with our international population constantly growing each year. 
Currently, right now, we have about half of our incoming first year class coming from Virginia itself, but we're seeing that geographic diversity grow, especially from the West Coast and then also from the New England area too. Our students are really involved in clubs and organizations. Um, we have 20 different, 27 different clubs and organizations on campus, anything from affinity groups, one of our most popular groups on campus is actually our Black Student Alliance organization, um, to special interests, such as our chess club. They actually got that up and running last year, and they're competing, which is really great, and they're constantly growing um, different organizations. We also have some academic related clubs too, especially if you're looking to go into medical sciences or even our outdoor athletics program. Um, that has a great orientation program where students are able to come on campus a week before and they actually do a backpack trip. Um, it's just kind of something unique that our, our students are involved in. One thing that our students are really passionate about and we really encourage our students to participate in is experiential learning. So we offer the Rutherford Center of Experiential Learning on campus. It kind of has all of our um, umbrella of experiential learning. So study abroad, research, internships. With study abroad, we have 60% of our students who study abroad uh, with multiple doing smaller trips over their time here at Hollins. And also internships are a huge thing that our students participate in. We have signature internships for the month of January over J term, where students go to New York City, Washington, DC, and they do some incredible things. Um, anything from working for Estee Lauder and their business marketing firm to the Library of Congress, just to name a few. Um, we even have a Baton Leadership Institute where students can get a certificate in leadership studies on top of their major here at Hollins. You can be any major and declare this. Um, it's a really great opportunity for you to go out and learn these leadership skills. And then also community engagement. Our students are always involved in community service, both in the Roanoke area and thus also even abroad too. In terms of accolades, these are just some of the ones that we've gotten over the last year. Um, one thing that we're really proud of is being ranked number six as most politically active institution in the nation. Even though we're small, we're mighty in force. Um, so our students are doing some amazing things. And also our alumni network is fantastic as well. So we have a really strong connection, not only during your time here at Hollins, but also after you graduate too. In terms of how to apply for transfer students, um, so you'll complete the application found on our website and it's completely free to apply, which is really nice. We'll need your transcripts, both your college and then also your high school transcripts. And then we do ask for this document called the College Officials Report. You can find it on our website under the transfer admissions page. And it's just a document highlighting that you're in good standing with the current institution, um, what sort of courses you've taken, that sort of thing. Test scores, we went test optional this year. So if you'd like to submit them, you can. However, they're not required. So whatever you'd like to do. And then secondary school report or letter recommendation are optional. So if you'd like to submit additional documentation for your application, we're happy to consider that as well. One nice thing for transfer students is that we're on a rolling admission basis. So we accept for both the fall and the spring semesters. And you can really turn in your application and give us your materials at any time. And we're happy to help you with that process. In terms of scholarships, we're definitely committed to affordability. So for transfer students, you're guaranteed at least $20,000 in merit scholarships alone. The higher academics, the more scholarship money you would receive from us. We also have some special scholarships. If you're a Phi Theta Kappa member, there's a $2,000 scholarship that can be stacked on top of that. And then we even have some special interest scholarships you can apply for in addition to anything from a music scholarship to a math and science scholarship. Of course, we're having some virtual events that we would love for you to join us for, all sorts of webinars. And then also, if you don't want to come to campus just yet, um, we do have a virtual tour too that we'd love to have you interact with and take. We're also having on-campus tours too, Monday through Saturday, um, socially distanced, of course, with COVID and everything, but we'd love to see you on campus soon. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. We're happy to answer those for you. Um, and we'd love to connect with you on all sorts of social media platforms too. So we hope to see you soon. Great, thank you so much. And thank you to all of our presenters for sharing your institutions with us. And we will bring everyone back um, as we do have a, a couple minutes remaining and time for one last question. Um, and I would kind of ask everyone if, if you were able to share with the students kind of one tradition or event or, or something that really makes your campus special, um, what would you, would you choose to share with them? And we can go in the same order as our original presentation. So I'll put you on the spot, Joseph. <laughs> 
Awesome. Thanks for asking. Here at Florida Southern College, one of our biggest traditions is our Southern Takeover. This is our homecoming event at Florida Southern. We bring in large national performing artists to campus. We have Be the Kings a couple years ago. Um, I also like to mention our Senior Splash. So our campus is an actual historic landmark for its Frank Lloyd Wright architecture, often ranked as the number one most beautiful campus in America in the top 10 there. Um, and our students on campus get to go to this giant water dome. Uh, it's actually a $5,000 fine if you go in that prior to graduation, but our students love going into it. They have big, huge rubber ducks and all kinds of stuff that's out there. It's a big celebration right before our students graduate. And just our whole senior community gets a chance to do that together. So to meet things as a student and then as you're getting ready to graduate. Yeah, so we have two campus traditions that are my favorite at a and one being February 1st, where we recognize the contribution that four freshmen that came on our campus made in Greensboro, North Carolina, during the sit-ins, during the civil rights movement, and also what we call GHO, which is the greatest homecoming on earth, where students come from near and from far just to participate in our homecoming. Uh, so one of my favorite traditions at FNM is something called Common Hour. Once a week for an hour, the college essentially shuts down, no classes, no meetings, and the entire community, including the city of Lancaster, is invited to come together to hear from a speaker. This year it's been virtual, um, but typically we fill the, um, the basketball court, um, and it's a whole diverse group of speakers that come that have been nominated by students and faculty. So. Um, we had Jane Goodall um, and Kamir Abdul-Javar, and it's just a wonderful time for um, engagement with the entire community. I find it very, very hard to pick in terms of the University of Manchester. I think one of the best things is our Freshers' Week. That's the first week um, of the start of the academic year where there's no classes and everyone just has an opportunity to get to know the university, get involved with clubs and societies. Um, throughout the year, there's live music almost every night at the university through our Students' Union Bar. Um, and I think my, my favorite one that actually looks like Harry Potter would be our annual Christmas Bowl. I think that's the one that just the photo opportunity is right there. So I think that's that would be it for, for Manchester. This is Mary. I'm trying to get on there again. Um, we can hear you. Okay. I think one of the, um, the best things we do is at the beginning of school, when everyone is moving in, we have service plunge where every new student who comes in is put on a bus, signs up and goes on a bus and goes out into the community and does um, service projects. And the reason I love it so much is they come home tired and exhausted, but you bonded in a way that that really fast forwarded anything else you might do. So one of my favorite traditions um, that Hollins does, it's called Tinker Day. Um, one random day in the fall, classes are canceled and the only people that know about it are the president of the university and the president of the senior class. And classes are canceled and the only way you know about it is that the chapel bells ring at 6 a.m. and everyone comes on the front quad in their craziest costume. There's a lot of tutus, there's a lot of glitter, you can imagine, um, as creative as our students are. And they do all sorts of songs to each other. And then they actually hike up Tinker Mountain together. And at the top of the mountain, we'll do class skits. Um, we also do a picnic and faculty and staff participate too. And it's just a really great community building day. Unfortunately, we had to go virtual this year, so it's not the same, but hope to get that up and running next year too. Great, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone for sharing some of these great events with us. At the conclusion of this webinar, you'll be prompted with a quick four question survey and we would appreciate any feedback that you can provide. And also just a reminder that this is one of many webinars being offered and all will be available recorded in about a week's time at strivescan.com backslash Virginia. Thanks so much.